I wanted to explain system of linear equations in two variables okay or three variables also both I am going to explain system of linear equations in two variables or three variables. So now in my last class I have explained you what is the solution of a linear equation in two variables. I have taken the example x plus y is equal to 7. So for this we are having uh, so many solutions like uh, 0, 7, 1, 6, 2, 5 and go on. So this is uh, one way of uh, writing the solution. Okay? We call these things like ordered pairs. Ordered pair because two variables a pair will be the solution. Each pair is the solution. You substitute, you replace this pair in the place of x and y. This equation will get satisfied. That is why all these pairs are um, solutions. And this is an ordered pair. Why it is called an ordered pair? Because always in all these uh, pairs, first one is x value, value of x and second is y value. Okay, so infinitely many solutions, but sometimes we need only one solution. We cannot manage with many solutions. If you, if there is a situation, if there is a situation, if there are two variables, then with one equation, you will be getting many solutions, but we need only unique solution. So for that, we need one more equation to satisfy the system. So if I write x minus y, I will write one more uh, thing, x minus y is equal to 3. One more equation I have written. So there are two. Now this equation also has uh, many solutions. So let me write the solutions here. Um, 4 minus 1, 4, 1, 5, 2 and so on. So both equations are having infinitely many solution in a situation. So in the situation, in this situation, this is completely one situation only, right? Then the common solution will be the common solution because there are infinite solutions. This has second equation has many solutions and first equation also has many solutions. The common solution is the solution of these two equations together. So whenever there are two variables, if there is only one equation, you will get infinite number of solutions. So it is not possible to find a unique solution. So that is why whenever there are two variables, there should be two equations to get a unique solution. So those two equations make a system of linear equations. A system of linear equation. Suppose when you are uh, doing word problems, if there are only two variables, then there should be two conditions because every condition will get an equation. So there should be two conditions. Then only you will be getting uh, answer, unique answer. I will just give you an example. Sum of two numbers is equal to 14. Otherwise, I will write 7 only. Find them. This is the question. So two numbers means two variables. So there is only one condition. Then what happened? So let the two numbers, one number is x, another number is y, sum means plus is equal to 7. Like this first equation. So then how many solutions are there? Many solutions are there. So you will not get unique solution. Suppose if uh, there is one more condition, say one condition is given like this. Suppose if one more condition is given, their difference is equal to, their difference is 3 and then find the solution. 
or find the answer, find the numbers. So here you will be getting x plus y is equal to 7 and here you will be getting x minus y is equal to 3. So this is equation 1, condition 1 say a 1 equation, condition 2 gives us a second equation. So these two makes one system, system is nothing but the situation, whatever the case, whatever you understand, you understand in any way. So this entire problem should have two equations to get a unique solution. So this is a, what is the system of a linear equations in two variables. Hello, in this uh, video, I am going to uh, explain how to solve linear equations in two variables. Okay? So, linear equation in two variables. In two variables. Huh? So, before uh, I go for uh, solving the equations, let us uh, know few important things. The general standard form of linear equation, standard or general form of linear equations, I write LEQEN, okay. I write system also here. So if I write system of linear equations in two variables, then that means two equations will come. So when there are two equations, then only you will be getting some solution. Okay? So first you understand the general standard form of linear equations in two variables. A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to first equation. Second equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to second equation. These are the general form. Okay? So when you are representing because there are two equations, you have to label them. Say how to label them? You put an arrow mark, write 1. Put arrow mark, write 2. If I say first equation, the first one. If I say second equation because sometimes in the solution you may be getting third equation, fourth equation, fifth equation also. That is why you number the equations. So now two equations we have. So this is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables, the system. Okay. So A1, B1, A1, A2 are the coefficients of the variable x b1, b2 are the coefficients of a variable y, c1, c2 are constants. So if I uh, particularly ask what is the coefficient of uh, y in second equation, so second equation coefficient of y b, what is the coefficient of uh, x in the first equation, you have to see the first equation x a1. So here a1, b1, c1 are real numbers. So I will say like this a1, comma b1, comma c1, a2, b2, c2 are real numbers. So just I will just give you what are uh, real numbers. Huh? Uh, they can be root numbers, root numbers are irrational numbers, they can be fractions, they can be decimals, they can be natural numbers, they can be whole numbers, they can be integers, anything. So real. So this is the understanding of a two system of a linear equations in two variables. Right? So I said every linear equation just before I go to the solution, I will just give you um, few more uh, uh, under, few more points on this understanding. So I told you 
these are called linear equations because their graphs are straight lines ok. So, now let us say I am not drawing x axis y axis, x axis y axis you should draw, draw first horizontal line is x axis, vertical line is y axis ok. I am not drawing somewhere because uh, it is only do just to show. So, there will be two lines, two lines equation 1 will have one line, one straight line, equation 2 also one straight line will come. How to draw the straight line I will tell you in my next video. So, if two lines are there, then there will be how many possibilities? Okay, one possibility is like this, one possibility is like this, this is equation 1, equation 2. That means they may be intersecting at a point O, this is the case 1, first case 1. That means two lines, if you want to draw two lines in a coordinate plane, this is one way you may be getting like this. One way you may not be intersecting, these may not be intersecting. So, this is first equation, this is second equation, this is a second way. Okay. Another way is both will be falling on the same, both will be falling on the same first equation and also second equation, this is a case 3. So, in case 1 we call them intersecting lines, intersecting lines. In case 2 we call them parallel lines. In case 3 because they fall on each other then we say that coincident line, coincident lines. So, that means if you draw the graph of these two equations, you may be getting in three ways. This is one way you may be getting, if it is not like the, this is, this may be one more way or this may be one more way. Only these three ways are possible. You will not get in any other way. Sir, I got like this. Some people may say like this. So, not intersecting, not parallel, not kinds, no. If you extend it, it will be intersecting somewhere, ok. So, this will come under the first case. So, here these two equations have three different uh, pictures, three different graphs. Here intersecting lines, here parallel lines and here coincident lines. I told you in the first in my lesson solutions, ok, uh, common solution because every equation, the first equation and also the second equation will have many ordered pair, many solutions. Out of these many solutions, the common solution from of both 1 and 2 will be the solution. So, here let us say O is the point. O is a point common point on 1 and 2 and this is called solution of the equation. So, in this case if the graph comes like this, so this point, point of intersection O is called point of intersection, O we call it as a solution, O is the common point to 1 and also 2. So, common point, common point, common ordered pair of these two is the solution. So, here O is the solution. Then here in this case, there is no common point because they are not intersecting, no common point. So, here no solution in this case because when there is no common point, then there is no solution. Okay. So, first case one solution is there, only this point O. How many such O's will be there? How many such point of intersections will be there? There is, there is only one. Two lines 
will intersect at only one point you try two lines will intersect at only one point so only one solution say let us say you can say unique solution also okay so in this second case because they are going parallelly they don't meet each other they don't intersect each other therefore no solution let us come to the third case it is looking like though there are two lines though there are two lines but it is looking like only one line so that means here if a single line has many solutions many solutions infinite number of solutions so if there are two equations linear equations in two variables for a system of uh, linear equations in two variables has three possibilities one the system may have a unique solution other one the system may have no solution or the system has many solutions only these three possibilities will be there for these things so this why i have told you directly because you are already aware of the graphs of these two equations okay so now question comes like this at what condition the system of linear equations has unique solution then what will be the answer they if the graphs of those two linear equations intersect each other then there will be a unique solution and what condition uh, uh, the system of linear equation has no solution if the graphs of the two equations represents parallel line then the system of linear equation has a no solution so when the system of linear equation has many solutions then if the graphs of the both the equations fall on each other then the system of linear equations in two variables has many solutions very very long long uh, uh, sentences it's very difficult now in my next part i am going to tell you in short okay